Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Christopher, and if you like lifestyle, luxury planning, organization, decorating, vlogs, basically if you like anything, you will find something here for you. So go ahead and click that little red subscribe button, and while you're at it, you might as well hop on over to my Instagram and follow me there as well. I'll leave my handle right here on the screen. It is a great place for us to to connect daily and get to know each other a little bit better. Today I am so excited to bring you my 17 favorite things from 2017. I have a wide variety of topics covered, so let's go ahead and jump straight in. Oh, and if you see me look down at all, it's just because I'm looking down at the notes that I've written on each of these products. And like all of my videos, whether it is a vlog or a sit down video, everything is linked down below. The first thing I'm going to share with you is the Dyson hair dryer. This hair dryer is just simply the best hair dryer I've ever come across. Yes, it is expensive, but let me tell you, the price tag to me is absolutely worth it. What I love is it comes with three different nozzles. So there's a very thin nozzle for very precise styling, a wider one, and then a diffuser. I always just use the very narrow one, and it has three heat settings, three speed settings, and it truly has changed my hair styling game. Since using this hair dryer, I have found that not only has my styling gotten better, but I also save so much time. This dries your hair in a flash, but also the precision with all the settings of speed and heat really allow you to get the style that you want. The other thing that I really like about it is how simple it is. So the design itself is really simple, but to clean the filter, you just twist this, pull this little casing off, brush this clean, and snap it right back on. They really thought through how to make this not only a great tool, but very easy and user-friendly. I love this hair dryer. Yes, it is expensive, but I believe, like all Dyson products, it is absolutely worth it. Today I'm working with natural lighting because I didn't want to set up my lighting kits, so uh, I'm facing a bunch of windows, and it's a snowy day, so the reflection might get a little weird because up here in the Northeastern, we are getting nailed with what is now called the bomb. It's exactly what it is. I think our high today is zero. Now we're going to go ahead and dive into skincare. The first product I'm going to talk about is my Clarisonic Mia. I have been hooked on this thing in 2017, and I actually bought it though in 2016 and really never reached for it. And in 2017, I discovered the Cashmere Brush Head. It is so soft and it's so great for people whose skin is sensitive, but ever since switching the brush head, I use it daily. A charge holds in it for a very long time. I charge it about once a week, if that. It travels really, really well. You put any cleanser you're using on it, wet it a little bit, and then take it into your skin. It also is on a self-timer, which I also really like because I don't spend tons of time washing my face. I just stick with the timer. It gives me enough time to concentrate in all the zones that I need cleaned, as well as get a nice cleanse across my entire face. I just love this thing, I highly recommend it. The next product I'm going to talk about I wish was way cheaper. However, it has made such a huge difference in my skin, and that is the SK2 Clear Lotion and Essence. The Clear Lotion is a toner and moisturizer and really gentle exfoliant. You put this on first. How I do it is I put it on a cotton pad and I simply wipe it across my face and then let it dry. Then you go in with the Essence. If you're not familiar with it, it is made of Patera, and Patera is a byproduct of fermented yeast. So it automatically has built up some amino acids, a lot of vitamins, and a lot of minerals. What this is really great for is evening skin tone and texture. I've also found it to really be helpful with fine lines and wrinkles. This stuff is just absolutely amazing. It comes with a hefty price tag, but if you are someone who really values really good skincare, I'm telling you this product has made a huge difference with my skin in 2017. The next product I'm going to talk about, if you were to throw me on a deserted island and say you could take one product with you, this would be it, and that is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans Treatment. It is a lactic acid based treatment that I put on at night and I sleep with it on because that's just how I like to use it. And I wake up in the morning and I see a huge difference in the brightness of my skin. But over time, I've seen it make a huge difference in evening out the texture of my skin as well as aiding with fine lines and wrinkles. This product, I will tell you, it does not smell great when you put it on. But I'm telling you, if you want immediate brightening, this is the way to go. But the benefits of it over time are immense. Like I said, 
if I had one product to take with me, it would be this. Now we're going to dive into one of my favorite skincare things, and that is masks. And I have three masks in 2017 that I have been loving. Now, if you would like me to do a separate video about all my favorite masks of 2017 because they are so tailor-made for specific needs, let me know in the comment box below because I probably have 10 or 12 masks for 2017 that I used very regularly. The first mask I'm going to talk about is the Out of Trouble mask from Origins. This is sulfur, zinc, salicylic acid, and it is so good for treating any blemishes or basically any problem spots that you are having on your skin. What this really helps with is absorbing excess oil, getting dirt out of pores, and also getting off dead skin cells that often create skin problems. You really do see a difference in blemishes and problems. As soon as I feel something coming on under the skin, I immediately reach for this all the time. And sometimes I just put it on the problem zone, sometimes I just do it all over. Love this mask. And a little bit goes a really, really long way, which also is very helpful. My favorite peel-off mask is also from Origins, and that is the Ginseng Peel-Off Mask. This has coffee bean in it and ginseng and also fruit acid. And what I find with this mask is it really does a great job of making the skin look brighter and it also really helps remove dead skin cells. It is a beautiful rose gold color. I just throw it on let it dry out completely and then peel it off. This is by far my favorite peel off mask. This is once again one of those masks where you see brightening um, occur almost immediately. It's great. All of Origins masks, I haven't found one that I do not love. The next mask I'm going to talk about is one that I've talked about many times and that is the Herbivore Botanicals Brighton Mask. This consists of pineapple enzyme, rice powder, as well as tourmaline gemstone, and it creates a really great mask that you see results in brightening immediately. I love this mask. It is the one that if I need results really, really fast, I reach for this guy because it's just fantastic. What I also love about Herbivore products is there are no parabens, no sulfates. It's a super natural product but I have once again not met a mask from Herbivore or basically a product from Herbivore that I do not love. I highly recommend reaching for their masks if you've not tried them yet, but reach for the Brighton first because I love it. I couldn't do this video without including a fragrance and in 2017 I tried and bought a lot of fragrances and I thought for sure that Amber Narguil from Hermes would still be my favorite. It was my favorite last year, but Mason Louise Marie number four is my absolute favorite fragrance probably ever. I honestly think it has become my number one fragrance. What I love about it is it is super delicate while still remaining really warm. So when you first put it on, it is very much sandalwood and cedar. And then as it dries down, you get a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg and amber. It's just really well balanced and I don't know how they balanced all of those warm, spicy scents while keeping it so delicate. I had never worked with an oil fragrance before. Not only does it last a really long time, the product itself, but also on your skin, it lasts me all day. It is my number one fragrance. I absolutely love it and you have to try it. All the skincare and beauty products are out of the way and now we're going to talk about some lifestyle products, some books, some fashion, some bags. So let's go ahead and get those things started. The first book I'm going to start with is by The Start Planner. For those who've watched the channel over 2017, you know that I fell in love with The Start Planner. I still believe it's one of the most comprehensive planners you can ever buy. Uh, it's fantastic. But Christy Dickerson, the creator of The Start Planner, also wrote the book Start Balancing. And I bought this and took it on a plane trip with me for work. And as I started to read it, I learned so much about myself. It is a book as well as a workbook because there are tasks that you do throughout that really helps you find this idea of like, this is my personal life, this is my business life, and this is also like my dreams and goals for myself, and how do I balance all of those? What this book really helped me with was really digging deep into what my passions are and what my long-term goals are, and then really finding ways and strategies on how to make them all work in my life. It was the first book 
that I've read, and I've read several on this idea of balancing and really creating clear visions and action steps. It was the first book that I felt was easily used and really got me to really process and think about what I really, really want in my life. If you are an entrepreneur, if you are a mom, if you are, basically, if you're an entrepreneur, if you work, if you're a mom, like anything, we are all trying to go through our days balancing so many things while also trying to stay really true to ourselves and our dreams and our visions. And this book has really helped me in that area. My favorite book for 2017, I did not even have to think about it. If you've watched the channel, you already know what it is because without a doubt, it is Colson Whitehead's The Underground Railroad. I have gifted this book to so many people. It is the book I believe that everyone has to read. Colson Whitehead's writing, let's talk about that first, is so incredible and so well done that you will not be able to put this down. This is a story about a slave escaping from the South. And I thought that the historical buff in me knew a lot about it, but I had no idea the scope. To me, this book brings a new life and depth. Um, and I get emotional every time I talk about this book. It brings a new life and a new depth to a story in our history that we cannot afford to forget. And while this is a book about a slave's escape, it is also an odyssey because with every new like point or turning point of the book, you learn a whole new narrative around slavery that you didn't know. Um, it is the most powerful read. I believe that every human being should have to read this. Um, it is my favorite book of 2017. It'll probably be my favorite book of 2018. It'll probably be my favorite book of all time that I've ever read. Um, you have to pick it up. It's just fantastic. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about some accessories and fashion items that I have loved in 2017. And the first one came as a surprise. All of you know that I love and adore the YouTuber Haley Cairo. Her and I have become friends over YouTube and she's been a tremendous support of my channel in its first year. And she also has a movement called the May Movement, which is an empowering inspirational movement about creating and manifesting your dreams and goals. And she also has these made movement bracelets, which are partnered with Aid Through Trade, which is all about ethical, fair, and sustainable employment. And these are handmade by the women of Nepal. And they are the most comfortable, most beautiful bracelets I've ever found. This black one, I literally never take off. I fall asleep with it. I work out with it. It is always on. They are fantastic and my favorite bracelet in 2017. The next item I'm going to talk about are these Hunter Chelsea boots. I bought these and didn't wear them at first when I got them, but then once I started wearing them, I was in love. They are so comfortable. I wear these with cuffed jeans. I wear them with cuffed khakis or pants. I wear them when it rains, when it snows, when there's like the slightest chance of rain. I just wear them to wear them. I find that I love this olive green brown color with the pop of red. They look so cute. I have had the high hunter boots for quite some time. I never wear them now that I got the Chelsea style. They also are now making some Chelsea styles that have like buckles around them. I plan on picking them up. They are my favorite shoe ever. I really, really love them. In 2017, I acquired a lot of great bags into my collection. I've never been the biggest backpack person, but the Burberry rucksack completely became my favorite bag for traveling, for work, for just everything. Um, I love the black on black, so the black leather, the black nylon, the black hardware. I just think it looks super chic. I love that Burberry offers the monogramming on that front pocket. It's so well made. It's also extremely comfortable. The straps are so padded that no matter if you load this thing down, it remains comfortable. I have walked all around when we've been on trips with this on. I love it. It has a really large front pocket, two side pockets. And then instead of buckling, they make the buckles into snaps 
and it opens up into a really big rucksack style bag. It comes in a variety of sizes, but it has been my favorite bag of 2017. My favorite tech device of 2017 has to be my new vlogging, well, I guess it's not new anymore. This vlogging camera I picked up right before um, we went glamping, and I think that's the first vlog I shot on it. I'll leave it linked down below. It has fast autofocus, the picture is so clear, it's so easy to use. It has a built-in flash, it also has a viewfinder, it shoots 4K, it shoots beautiful slow-mo, um, it's so easy and user-friendly. I love, 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 love this camera. I'm so glad I switched to it. Um, I have no regrets. Absolutely no regrets. I could not do a 2017 favorites without the following. If you know me, you know I am addicted to swell bottles. These four do not represent my massive collection. I think I'm somewhere at probably 20 to 30 swell bottles. I love these things. They keep cold drinks cold for 24 hours, hot drinks hot for 12 hours, build up no condensation. They come in such cool styles that I literally pick the swell bottle that either goes with an outfit or matches my mood for the day. In 2017 though, they also made the tumbler and this is what I take to work each day for my coffee. Swell has been my favorite drinking vessel besides a wine glass <laughs> for 2017. Although maybe Swell will make a wine glass soon. The next like lifestyle item was probably Steven and I's combined favorite for 2017, and that would be our Smeg tea kettle. We have loved this thing and used this thing throughout 2017. We drink a lot of tea, and this kettle has withstood everything that we put it under. It heats really, really fast. It's so beautiful and we're so happy with the quality of it that I just recently ordered the Snake Stand Mixer that actually matches this kettle. And I'm excited to give that a whirl too. It'll be showing up in many vlogs. But yes, the Snake Kettle is the best tea kettle and I just think it also gives like this little vibe of luxury to everything as well. But we love this thing. The next thing on my list is music. 2017 was a great year of music. I will still say the best album of 2017 that I listened to was Kelly Clarkson's The Meaning of Life. It is by far her best work over her 15 year career. It is fantastic. There is not a song on that album that I skip. It is so good. And I've recommended it so many times. You can catch all of my favorite 2017 songs in my Spotify playlist, which will be linked down below. I want to share with you my favorite YouTubers for 2017. And I would say my top four would be Haley Cairo. Her channel's amazing, love her. Also love what she stands for. 2018 is going to be my year of really looking at my subscription boxes and asking, do those people really make me better? Do they make me feel better? Do they uplift in their content? And then if they don't, they won't be in my subscription box anymore. But Haley Cairo is definitely one of those people. Next, Jennifer Ross from Pretty Neat Living. She has been such a supporter of the channel. She does planning, she does lifestyle, she does favorites, she does a little bit of everything as well. Um, she's also just a kind and wonderful person. Um, adore her, check her out. If you're here watching me, you probably are here because of her. Um, or my next YouTuber, and that's uh, Marnie Goldberg, or Miss Gold Girl here on YouTube. She has quickly become um, a 2017 favorite, even though we just got to know each other in December. But she is now a friend that I text on my phone. Um, she has been so supportive of the channel. Once again, if you're watching this, it's probably also because of Marnie. Um, she is just a wonderful person, um, and her content is great. She does fashion, she does vlogs, she does beauty. Even if she's doing like a makeup look, I find myself watching her just because I want to spend time with her because I think she's just so awesome. I'm happy to 
uh, recommend her as a YouTuber, but also call her a new friend. And my fourth recommendation, it was actually on my Instagram last night. I found her in November and I've literally been watching her nonstop and that is Glitter and Lasers. She does fashion, she's inspiring, she is motivating. She's everything you want and she's once again one of those people who could be doing a fashion haul where none of the fashion applies to me but I watch her because she makes me feel better, she makes me laugh, she inspires me, she motivates me. Her Instagram's also amazing. Um, so uh, those are my four favorite YouTubers of 2017. All right, so those are my favorites for the year. And I will tell you, these are as I look around, these are all the things that I truly, truly loved this past year. So I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to click that subscribe button and also follow me over on Instagram. I look forward to a great 2018 with you, sharing lots of brand new content and a lot of exciting new things coming down the pipeline. I will leave this video though like I leave all of my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, my friends. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye. I know that you're curious. I know that you're strong. But life can be furious and things can go wrong You go, you go